Here's another triangle, and suppose these two sides have the same length, which we can indicate by marking them both with a hash. And let's say you also know that this angle down here measures 70 degrees. Find the measures of the remaining two angles in this triangle. Nicely done. Because this triangle is isosceles, this angle here must also equal 70 degrees, leaving 40 degrees for this angle up here. Let's try another example. Here's another triangle, and let's say these two sides have the same length. If this angle over here is 110 degrees, then find the measures of the remaining two angles in this triangle. Excellent. Because this angle measures 110 degrees, that means you have 70 degrees left to divide among these two equal angles, so each one is 35 degrees. Let's try one last example. Here's an equilateral triangle, meaning all three of its sides have the same length. Now because these two sides have the same length, that means the angle opposite this side has the same measure as the angle opposite this side. Similarly, because these two sides have the same length, that means the angle opposite this side has the same measure as the angle opposite this side. So in an equilateral triangle, all three angles have the same measure. So in any equilateral triangle, what's the measure of each angle?